what is going on guys it is Panjano here and today I'm going to bring you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for Scum. Scum has recently launched into the Steam Early Access program and with so has gained a ton of popularity. With the game being so early with inside of its public release development cycle, i.e. Early Access, this has come with a lack of optimization updates as of yet and we're still awaiting a lot of optimization updates to come in the future. With this guide it's going to be aiming to give you guys the best FPS possible and further optimize your game fully to be running at the best frames possible whilst getting the smoothest experience possible with inside of the game. With that being said, if you guys do enjoy this video and you are happy with the results of this video, please leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. If you guys can also let me know of any results, questions, queries, or suggestions for more content in that comment section down below, that'd be deeply appreciated as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. So with all that being said and done, let's get straight into the video to keep this as fast and as simple as possible. So starting off with inside of this video, what you guys will need to go ahead and do is navigate into the description down below. And when inside of there, you'll find the download link for the FPS increase pack provided. And you'll also find the command line options in which we're going to be running in the game later on. So what you guys need to go ahead and do is simply click on one of the download links. If the first one doesn't work, try out the second download link. One of them should work. Download the file, put it onto your desktop, and it should look very similar to this, but the icon might look different. What this file is, is it's an FPS increase pack in which I've compiled, featuring all of the game configs and some small optimizations just in one small, easy place where you can just download it and follow along with the video rather than sending you guys to a million different websites and a million different locations. To open up this file, you guys need a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR. Simply go ahead and Google one of those programs, come back to the video with it installed, and you'll be able to open up the file. Once you guys have done that, you'll then be going ahead and right-clicking on the file and selecting the option to extract here. Once you guys have done that, you'll then be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name, just like so, called Scum FPS Pack by Panj. Simply go ahead and double-click into the FPS Pack provided. Inside of there, you'll then be given two more folders, which are titled Configs and another one titled Optimizations. They're pretty self-explanatory as to what they contain and we'll be going through these later on in the video as we continue on with the optimizations. So starting off and jumping right into it and getting into the optimizations, we're going to be going down to Steam. Once we're inside of Steam, we're going to be going over to Scum. I'm going to start off by going ahead and right clicking. Go into the properties tab and when inside of here what we're going to start off by doing is actually turning off all of the steam overlay options with inside of the game i recommend turning both of the options off just by simply coming down to these two checkboxes and unchecking both options with inside of here what i then recommend you guys go ahead and do is go ahead to the set launch options tab found here and this is where we're going to be putting in our custom command lines and to input your custom command lines it's actually very simple just simply navigate into the description down below of this video and it should be titled launch options or launch commands and just simply go ahead and grab all of that text once you guys have highlighted all of the text including all of the dashes what we'll simply then go ahead and do we'll then right click on the blank text box right click and hit paste should look very similar to this make sure that you've got all of the dashes in there and all of the spaces look around about the same and then just simply go ahead and press ok and now your custom launch options have been installed following on from there we can now go ahead and optimize the exe application files for the game it's very simple to do simply navigate to the local files tab found here at the top and go to browse local files so starting off with inside of it we're going to be going down to scum launcher right clicking on scum launcher and going down to the properties tab with inside of here we're then going to navigate over to the compatibility tab found here at the top and we're going to select disable full screen optimization we're then going to go ahead and select the option for change high DPI settings. And when inside of here, we're then looking for the option titled override high DPI scaling behavior performed by. We're then going to be selecting that option, pressing OK, and then pressing apply and OK. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is go into the scum folder with inside of this folder, going into binaries, Win64. And with inside of here, we're going to be applying those two optimizations we just applied to the scum launcher to the actual scum application. To do this is very simple. Again, we're going to be right clicking on scum going down to properties, going to the compatibility tab at the top, disabling the full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings, override high DPI scaling behavior performed by, OK, apply, and OK. Once you guys have then done inside of there, what we can now go ahead and do is simply exit out of the game directory as we're now done applying those optimizations. What we're now going to be doing is actually installing our customized config files. Just to bear in mind that this is completely safe to do, you won't be banned for this. You're not going to be changing anything around that gives you a competitive advantage. It's all completely safe to do and it's just to give you guys a better and smoother experience. You'll also be able to go into the game settings later on, which I'll show you inside of this video, and further tweak and enhance some options to tailor the game to your personal liking. So what we're going to be doing is simply going ahead and going into the Scum FPS pack once again. This time we're going to be going inside of the configs folder, and you'll be given an engine.ini, game user settings, and scalability. What we're now going to be doing is actually dragging this over to the right hand side just like so, just to get it out of the way, but keeping the folder open. We're then going to be going ahead down to the bottom left hand side to our Windows button, and we're then going to proceed to type in percent app data percent just like so once you've typed that in go ahead and press the enter button we're then going to be going over to the app data folder found here at the top we're then going to be going into the local folder scrolling all the way down to the s section and you should see the folder titled scum go inside of scum go inside of saved then go inside of the config folder 
Windows No Editor, and with inside of here you'll be seeing all of the game configuration files. Now what we're simply going to be doing is we're just going to be rewriting and overwriting our custom optimized game config files from the right hand side into our actual game settings directory. To do this we're going to be getting the three INIs which are included in the FPS pack, highlighting all of them and dragging them over into our game folder. We can then go ahead and replace the files in this destination and it's just that simple to do and we've now installed our optimized configs. Now before we boot into the game we're actually going to be applying a couple of Windows optimizations. They're extremely easy and fast to do and they are highly effective and I definitely recommend everyone watching this video sticks around and just applies these extra couple of optimizations as they will really help you get the most FPS possible. So we're going to be applying these and then we're going to jump into the game to show you guys the best settings and how to personalize it properly whilst keeping good FPS. So for one of the first optimizations I'm going to be sharing with you guys is to further enhance the power delivery options with inside of your PC and Windows itself, to further enhance performance for games and pretty much any power applications out there, whether that be video editing, Photoshop or gaming. This will help you guys get the best performance possible whilst reducing slowdowns. This will not increase heat and it's completely safe and easy to do. We're going to start off by going to the bottom left hand side, selecting the Windows button and typing in power. Once you guys have typed this in, simply find any of the icons which are the little battery with the Cord going around it. Doesn't matter what the option says, just click on any of these. Once you guys have clicked on that, something will open up. We're then going to go to the directory at the top here and select where it says power options. You should then be brought to this screen here. With inside of this screen, what we're going to be doing is going to show additional power plans. We'll then see the power plans available for our systems. Everyone should be seeing balanced, high performance and power saver. For some of you guys out there on Ryzen based CPUs, you might be seeing a few Ryzen based power plans, but we're going to be ignoring those. The best power plan available for Windows is actually the ultimate performance power plan. And for this, you're going to have to be on one of the newer versions of Windows 10. So if you have Windows 10 and typically keep your operating system up to date, make sure that you do click on the video in the top right hand side of the screen now. And that will bring you guys to the quick guide on how to install this power plan to your system. It's extremely quick. All you're doing is running a couple of commands, restarting your system, and you'll be good to go and you'll be seeing benefits across the board with this. So if you are interested, I recommend clicking on the card in the top right hand side of the screen now to be taken to that video. Now, if for any reason you don't wish to follow that video and you just wish to follow this video, you can also go with the high performance power plan as that should do a good enough job. But again, I recommend selecting ultimate performance if you can. Once you guys have done that, we're then gonna go ahead to the change plan settings tab. We can then set these two options with inside of here to anything we wish to do so they do not change the output of FPS with inside of this guide. These are just personal preference. We're going to go over to change advanced power settings. Inside of these options here, we're going to go to hard disk, turn off hard disk after, go to the setting with inside of here by clicking on the blue text, and we're going to input the value of zero. Once you guys have done that, go ahead and press apply, press OK, and we can then save changes and exit out of the power options as they are completely set up. Piggybacking off of that step, what we can now go ahead and do is actually apply an optimization to Windows itself and how Windows acts and treats your processor. And to do this, we're actually going to be doing something called CPU unparking. CPU parking is typically where Windows will take around about 20% of your CPU power and stick it into a reserved area within inside of Windows. So whilst you're playing games, you're only typically getting around about 80% of your CPU power, whilst Windows is taking that extra 20% and just leaving it in the background for other programs when and if they need it. This is especially bad for any of you guys who are getting lower FPS or your CPU CPUs are kind of getting maxed out as you're only getting around about 80% of the processing power off of that. So to do this, what we're going to be doing is going into the FPS pack provided by double clicking, going into the optimizations folder and selecting the utility, which is CPU core parking setup by double clicking. Once you guys have double clicked on that, the setup wizard will open up. We're going to select next, accept the terms of the license agreement, select next, next and install. After a few moments, the program will be installed. Ensure that the launch option down here is selected and press finish. After a few short moments, the program should open up and it should look very similar to this, but some of your settings and numbers will look different to mine and that is absolutely fine. When inside of here, what we're gonna be doing is starting off by going over to the system power plan, clicking on the drop down menu. And with inside of here, we're gonna be matching the power plan we set earlier on in the video to the power plan with inside of this program. So if you went with the high performance power plan, select the high performance power plan. If you went with the ultimate performance power plan, select the ultimate performance power plan. We're now going to be going down to core parking index, which is the amount of CPU cores we're going to have unparked. We're going to go ahead and grab this slider found here, dragging this all the way up to 100%. So we have all of our CPU cores unparked. We can then go over to frequency scaling index, which is going to be the speed of those CPU cores, which are unparked. And again, we're going to drag this all the way up to 100%, allowing us for 100% of the CPU cores unparked, at 100% of their speed. We can then go down to Turbo Boost Index, which only some of you will have, so if you don't have this option, don't worry. And again, dragging this up to 100%. Once you guys have followed all of the options available to you, we're then gonna go ahead and select the Apply button. We'll then notify you that changes have successfully been applied. Press OK, 
and we can then close out the program is that optimization is now complete and one last optimization i highly recommend especially for you guys playing on scum as this is an extremely gpu demanding game is actually overclocking your graphics card if you can there's going to be a video linked in the top right hand side of the screen now also in the description down below and at the end of the video which will bring you guys to my ultimate how to overclock your gpu guide it's extremely easy extremely effective and it's quickly climbed to one of the most successful gpu overclocking guides on youtube the feedback and results which can be found in the comment section inside of that video are absolutely phenomenal it's completely free to do it's very easy to do and i recommend following that video if you do have a little bit of extra time as you'll be seeing some great results across the board and that now leads us on to where we're going to boot our game and actually go ahead and further optimize our game settings now before we do this what we're going to be doing is just ensuring that we restart our systems to make sure all of the optimizations are completely applied and good to go to make sure that everything is good and smooth for when we boot into our game so to do this we're going to navigate to the bottom left hand side click the windows button go to the power button right click and select restart Coming back to this video, booting into Steam and getting ready to continue on. Now before we boot into the game, what we're going to be doing is simply going into the FPS pack provided one last time, going into the optimizations folder, and dragging the time resolution application onto your desktop. Now you're probably wondering what this program is and what it does. This program basically lowers the amount of latency between your operating system, hardware within inside of your system like your graphics card and CPU, and the game application itself, allowing you guys for better frame rates, lower frame times, and a lot lower input latency, giving you guys a much more snappier, faster, responsive experience. So let's say that you're about to go ahead and play your game, it might be Scum or it might be a different game for that matter. What you'll do is you'll simply go ahead to the time resolution application, double click on it, you'll then select maximum which will set the lowest input latency possible, minimize the program but ensuring that it is still running, you'll then boot into your game, you'll then play for however long you wish to do so, once you're done playing and you close your game, you'll then bring the program back up, select default to set the normal value and exit out of the program. It's just that simple to use and I've yet to see a PC not get benefits from using this. So assuming that we're about to jump into the game for the final time to further tweak our settings, we can now go ahead and actually boot this in a real world scenario. So what we're going to be doing is actually booting into time resolution, selecting maximum, minimizing the program, going down to Steam, going to Scum, and pressing play. Once you guys initially boot into the game for the first time after installing the custom config files, you might find that the game looks absolutely terrible, but don't panic right now as we're gonna be booting into a server and fine tuning the settings to find a good balance of visual fidelity and great performance. Don't pay any attention to how the game currently looks as we're gonna be setting this up in the next few steps. So before we go ahead and actually set anything up, what I recommend you guys go ahead and do is actually join the server you're currently playing on or join any server for that matter, boot into the game, find a location in that server in which you wish to use as a benchmark and we can continue on from there. Once you guys have booted into the game and you are now in a location in which you wish to use as your benchmark, what we can start by doing is actually going ahead and pressing escape and accessing the options menu, then going down to video. Now inside of this tab, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting all of the options uniquely to how our system responds to them. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to optimizing these scum settings, but there is a few tips and tricks in which I can give you guys to fully optimize the game for your systems, as pretty much everyone watching this video is going to end up on different settings from one another. So starting off with inside of here, what we can actually go ahead and do is we can set our in-game resolution. Now what you mainly want to do with the in-game resolution is match it to your monitor's maximum resolution. For me that's going to be 1920 by 1080. I wouldn't really recommend going above 1920 by 1080 unless you have a really high-end graphics card. Otherwise I recommend dialing it down to 1080p which is 1920 by 1080. I also recommend going down to full screen and ensuring that you're running completely in full screen mode as the game currently prefers on pretty much most machines running in full screen mode. Following on from there you can now go down to dynamic shadow quality and the handy thing about how the video options apply with inside of Scum is they apply instantly. So for instance, I can instantly switch this over to Epic and it will instantly be applied to the background behind me so I can see a slight visual difference and you can also see the impact it's having on your FPS in the top left hand side. Now I do recommend having some sort of FPS counter open, whether that be Fraps, the Steam in-game overlay, or something like MSI Afterburner, just to show you guys live what your FPS is and see instantly how your system responds to certain settings. As you can see here, turning dynamic shadow quality from low to epic literally doesn't change my FPS whatsoever. So I can confidently say that my system can handle epic shadows. Post-processing quality, again, if I switch this to medium, there has been no difference made to my FPS whatsoever. So I'm gonna be keeping this on high. But do remember guys that your systems will respond differently to these settings than my system. You might be able to turn up options and actually find you get better FPS as the optimization within inside of this game is a little bit strange at the moment because it's so early in its public release. Next we're going to be led on to texture quality. Again you can start off with the highest option here. As you can see now I've had a drop down to around about 29 FPS using epic textures. So for me personally I'm going to be sticking with medium as that seems to be the best for my machine. And that now leads us on to one of the if not the most important option within inside of all of the options here. 
and that is the render resolution. This option here is going to be your main ticket in reaching the desired FPS in which you wish to have. Starting off with a render resolution scale of 100 is going to leave your game looking a lot nicer and crisper, but actually dialing this down you'll be seeing some phenomenal gains in terms of FPS. Yes, the game won't look as nice as it once did, but you will be achieving that FPS in which you wish to hit. So what you'll do with inside of the render resolution is you'll start dialing this back by 10%, and as you can see, your FPS should be reflective of the changes you're making. You will then keep dialing this down to the lowest number possible in which you are happy with visually. As you can see, setting this to 70%, the game looks visually a lot worse, but if you don't mind it looking like this, you could even go even lower. Everyone's gonna have their own personal take on this and personal preference. Some people might prefer to set this higher and have lower FPS, whilst others might not be bothered and really enjoy the benefits of having a much smoother experience. As you can see, turning this down to 70% has given me a overall FPS average of around about 57 FPS. So again, make sure that you do come in here and play around with the render resolution and really find out the value in which you prefer the most. Once you guys have found and fine-tuned your individual settings, go ahead and press the apply button, press yes, and then spend a few minutes just running around to make sure that everything works nicely and deciding whether or not you wish to go back into the settings and fine-tune them further. And there you guys have it, my ultimate FPS increase guide for scum. Again guys, if you are happy with this video, make sure that you do leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. Leave any comments, questions, queries, or results in that comment section down below as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. Share this video around with any friends, teammates, or anyone in Discord that you might know that plays scum. That could benefit from the FPS optimization with inside of this video and again guys make sure that you do head into that description down below with inside of there you'll find a few more videos in which you can follow to further enhance your system for gaming performance they'll go more in depth and teach you guys more about system optimization and really getting the most out of your fps with inside of practically every game with that being said and done guys thank you very much for watching this video i've been panjano and i am out